So, I've got this number line here that does not start at zero. We can start at any number on the ruler, and we can still measure and compare lines. Yeah, let me blow your mind here. So, this doesn't start on zero, it starts on what number? Twelve. What number? Twelve. twelve. It starts on twelve, and it ends and on what number? Nineteen. So, if I'm not sure how long this line is, I don't actually have to start on zero. I can use my ruler as a number line, and I can jump the spaces to see how many centimeters I have. One, two, so, three. I need to find the length of line C. So, I'm going to make sure that I know when it starts and when it ends at my end point, so I don't make any mistakes. And I'm going to go ahead and jump, and I'm going to count how many centimeters it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Line C is... 10 centimeters long. Line D. Oh, I need to do line D too. It starts at 12, so does that mean it's 19 centimeters long? No. No. I'm going to count. Eight. 1, 2, no, 3, no, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 centimeters long. No. Now, if you're still confused about that, there's a different way that you could do it. A different way that you could do it is like this. If your line D goes to 19 centimeters, but starts at 12, you could imagine, you could imagine the zero point right here and just take away 12. Because this, is, this line doesn't exist, right? So you could take 19 minus 12, minus 12 and you're still gonna get seven centimeters of an answer. Or for this one, you take 26, because that's where it ends, and it starts at 16. So we have to take away all the imaginary lines of zero. You take away 16, and that equals 10, 10 centimeters. Or you could just count the unit like a number line, okay? So now I get to solve my word problems. Lines C and D are blank centimeters. Well, this word and tells me that I need to put them together, and I need to add them. 17. So 10 plus 7 is 17. Is what? It's 17. Oh, but if I'm not sure, I can do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You are right. 17 centimeters. Line C is blank centimeters longer or shorter than line D. Longer. So I'm comparing line C and I'm comparing line D. Line C is 10 centimeters. Line D is 7. Longer. Line C is longer. So I'm going to go ahead and circle longer. But how much longer? Three. How much longer? Hmm. Oh. If I'm not sure, I can put my 7 here. I can put my 10 here. And I can get my visual. This is what I'm looking for. I can count up to 10. Or I can take 10 and subtract 7. I'm going to count up to 10. 7, 8, 9, 10. What's my difference? 3. Or I could take 10 and take away 7. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Did I get the same answer? Yeah. So line C is 3 centimeters longer than line D. Yep. Are you guys ready to try? Yes. Okay. Jaden is sitting like a scholar. Jasmine is sitting like a scholar. Okay. We've got line A that starts at 6 and ends at 14. We've got line B that starts at 2 and ends at 11. Our first question is, how long is line A? Line A is how many centimeters long? Think. James is looking up at the board so he can start counting. Hair. Share. Amy, share with James. James G. You think line A is 14 centimeters? 
Do you agree or disagree with James G, Jesling? He said he thinks that line A is 14 centimeters long. I disagree with James G. James G? James G because um, I counted it and I and I and it was fine. So James G says it's 14. Jasleen says that she disagrees. She counts and it was five. Do you agree, do you agree or disagree with Jasleen? Oh, well, I was counting the end of Amy, do you disagree or disagree or disagree with Jasleen and James? I disagree with It's nine. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it nine? No. No. Louise, how long is our line? Sitting like a scholar, just like AJ. AJ sitting like a scholar. James is sitting like a scholar. Why? We're talking about line A. So we're talking about line A. James said it was 14. Amy disagreed. Oh, sorry, Jasmine disagreed. Jasmine said it was 5. Amy disagreed and said it was 8. And I disagreed. Oh, sorry, she said it was 9. I disagreed and I said it was 8. Why is it 8? Well, Louise. Yeah, because if you, like, if you put the 6 and you keep and you count it on top, like if you count, it, it's going to equal 8 anyway, because if you add, and look, if you go like that, there's going to be 4 and 4. If you, if you put your finger in the middle, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, that's a pretty good strategy. I just used Jess, Jaden and Jason. We just used our ruler, Jessine's tracking, James is tracking. James G is tracking. Nicole, you need to track. We just used our ruler as a number line, and we jumped the numbers. And we got eight. Another way to do it, James G, is the following. If you think it's 14, you need to think about where it started. What number did it start at, James G? Six. What is 14 minus 6? Blow into your hand. Release. Eight. eight. Nine. eight. It's 8. Alright, so now let's find the length of, la of line B. Line B starts at 2 and ends at 11. Before you think, I want you